Yesterday we reported we had confirmed a total of seven cases in the United States. Today we've confirmed one additional case in California, bringing the total number of U.S. confirmed cases to eight. The most recently confirmed case involved a child in the San Diego area who's recovered. Today, Mexico's Minister of Health confirmed that they have cases of swine influenza in people and that they believe some of the people who were infected died from swine influenza. While we are now working with health officials in Mexico, we're very early on in those efforts. We've only tested a very limited number of samples from Mexico, and we do not have enough information to fully assess the health threat posed by this swine flu virus. Uh, we've tested 14 samples from Mexico, and seven of those tested positive. We also only have eight confirmed cases in the United States, which makes it hard to draw conclusions about the full spectrum of the clinical picture. We need more comprehensive laboratory analyses and a better understanding of what's really going on with respect to the number of people who experienced influenza-like illness in Mexico. We still do not have enough information to give us any sense of the extent of spread of this virus, and the illness spectrum is not currently known. Uh, I want to go over some of the CDC and other public health uh, agency actions that have been taken. We're working very closely with state and local officials in California, Texas, as well as with health officials in Mexico, Canada, and the World Health Organization. CDC has sent teams to California and will be sending a team to Texas to assist state and local health officials in identifying people who are potentially infected. Contacting people who lived with or were in extended close contact with confirmed cases and helping on laboratory work. CDC expects to send people to Mexico to assist in the public health efforts there. Uh, in terms of our travel recommendations, at this time there are no recommendations for U.S. travelers to change, restrict, or alter their travel, travel plans to Texas, California, or Mexico. CDC will be issuing today an outbreak notice for American travelers to central Mexico and Mexico City. A CDC outbreak notice is designed to inform travelers of an increased health risk due to an outbreak in a limited geographic area. Outbreak notices also bear reminders about standard or enhanced recommendations for the region. In this case, we're reminding travelers about our standard recommendation. Based on the currently available information, CDC is not recommending any additional precautions for travelers to California, Texas, or Mexico. Our standard recommendations, however, do remain in place. Cover your cough or your sneeze. Wash your hands frequently. And see your doctor if you have fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, headache, chills, and fatigue. And we do want people to realize that some people have reported diarrhea and vomiting associated with the swine flu. Some other specific CDC actions include uh, posting of, a, of an, another MMWR health dispatch that will be up uh, later this afternoon. Uh, this puts forth our latest recommendations, and as, uh, as we've noted before, these include that clinicians should consider swine flu in the differential diagnosis of patients with uh, febrile respiratory illness who live in San Diego and Imperial counties in California and Guadalupe County in Texas, or have traveled to these areas or been in contact with ill persons from these areas in the seven days before their illness onset. CDC requests that state public health laboratories send all influenza A uh, specimens that cannot be subtyped to the CDC Influenza Division Virus Surveillance and Diagnostics Branch Laboratory. And as a precautionary step, the CDC is working to develop a vaccine seed strain specific to these recent swine influenza viruses in humans. This is also something we often initiate when we encounter a new influenza virus that has the potential to cause significant human illness. Uh, we've created a web page with information and updates. We encourage the public and the media to visit this website for information. It's cdc.gov forward slash flu forward slash swine, but you can get it from our main uh, website. There's a link there. We also have a CDC information line that's set up, and that's 1-800-CDC-INFO.